We have reduced superficial surgical site infections, known as SSI, in lower gastrointestinal surgery. I'll try to explain how. This graph is our starting point. Stavanger is the blue line with X's. We're not best. SSIs are very complex. This time lapse shows some of the complexity of an open right-sided hemicolectomy, the figure in the lower right-hand corner showing people in contact with the patient. We decided to start with the in-hospital factors in elective surgeries. We divided them into pre-, intra- and post-operative factors. During the whole, it is important that the patient is as normal as possible. Normal glycemic, normal term, normal oxygenation. Preoperatively, antibiotic prophylaxis needs to be administered so that the maximum concentration is when the incision is made. We give oral doxycycline and metronidazole two hours before estimated incision. Surgical wash. We fixed analog clocks with hands showing seconds, not only minutes, by the sinks. All operating theatres have a notice on the door reminding people only to enter if they really need. The surgical team changes gloves and instruments after finishing the anastomosis. All patients are given individual bottles of hand disinfectant. The surgical chief did hygiene visits with inspection of staff attire. As you can see from the right-hand corner, this is a team effort. As a team leader, I was approached with suggestions and ideas from people I had never seen. No one saw SSI as someone else's job but theirs. This last part shows how our superficial SSI have changed. Pre-intervention, we had 10%. Post-intervention, the figure is 3%. The deep infections haven't changed, so that, along with spreading the good work to other operating wards, this will be our next goal.